What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne, and today I wanted to talk to you about how we can set up our split testing or A-B testing in ClickMagic. If you want to know more about what split testing or A-B testing is, uh, feel free to check out this video. But basically, we want to do it in ClickMagic for two reasons. One, ClickMagic is our central kind of place where we track everything. So if you'll have more landing pages, more promotions, you'll be able to see everything all in one place. Very nice, very convenient. Um, and we'll be able to see the exact traffic source, something I'm not sure ClickFunnels can do yet. Uh, so we'll be able to see where exactly our traffic is coming from and what we can scale and what traffic we can remove. Okay, so that's reason one. Reason two is, as we mentioned again in this video, uh, ClickFunnels will only allow you to split test two videos at a time. Any more than that, you'll have to create another funnel and in that case, you'll have two different links. So you can only really split test and click funnels two at a time. In click magic, you can do more than that, which is also what I want to show you how to do. Okay, so let's jump straight in. So um, here's our click magic offer, which is fine. Here I'm in click funnels. So I've taken the liberty of creating another funnel here. So it says diabetes funnel two. So I've just done some changes here. Uh, if you want to see how you can do that and how you can use the exact same template, you can watch this video here where I do that for you right in front of your eyes. <laughs> but basically, here's our main page. And these are the four pages that we want to include and see which one is better. So page one looks like this, where it comes in. Page two looks red. You know, in my opinion, red will give me more clients is what I could potentially say. Um, Here's the other two. So in this one, there is a better picture, for example. And in this one, I've included a uh, emails or concerns. So I'm thinking, hey, which one will do better? Because the one that does the best, that's the one that I want to have uh, as my main and then make adjustments off that and test further. All right. So there, I've done that. So here's what we will do. Let's start off with the main one. I'll go back to diabetes edit one. So first thing we need to do, go to Click Magic go to this little gear icon over here and go to split testing right there click on that and then here we need to put all of our links down so the way we'll do that is i'll go here so we already have this one down because this was the main link that we've input um, so what i'll do is i'll just click preview page i'm gonna copy this i'm gonna exit out of that and i'm gonna put it here and i will say variation two because it's our second variation uh, and for now I'll just put in 50 I'll say add URL okay so we've done that so now we need to add more URLs so now I'm gonna go back to those other funnels which we've done I'll say page I'm gonna copy that go back here I'll say variation three and I'll put in value 25. That's fine. And then do this one. And say variation four. And you can name them whatever you want. So you don't have to name them variation two, three, four. You can name them, I don't know, uh, diabetes test with picture, diabetes test without picture, diabetes test with contact us, whatever. Okay. So you can do that. So I'll click add URL. Your ratios are too high. Your primary URL won't get any traffic. Okay, so we need to change, um, we need to equalize the weights. And let's try that again. So, because it said that basically our primary URL will get uh, 0%. So we have to make them all equal. So now we'll click equalize. Okay, so that's important to click equalize because otherwise, what this weight means is that your traffic will be redirected to only, or more so will be redirected to a particular website, but you don't want that. You want to test it out. So you need to give everyone an equal chance. So we need to make sure our weights are equalized across all the pages. So now that we've done that, we have these four here. Uh, I will click, I will, I'm just going to click close. And now I'll click refresh here. Um, I don't know why it took me to a different page, but basically here, notice how it's, it, it has a little A and B and it has two arrows. So that's A, B testing. So now if you click on this, boom, it's got all these four links. So if we test it out, I will use different browsers. So observe, notice how the page that we go to will be different. Uh, of course, we'll need different uh, um, IP addresses. 
So I will use this first, and then I'm going to go into my Internet Edge and open the same page from Internet Edge, and it will give me a different page. So I'll go here. I'm going to click it. So observe how this is telling me this, is, this has the red one. Now if I go to my Internet Edge and I type in the same address, see how it gives me a different one. So every single time you will click with a different IP address, it has a 25% chance of taking you to either page. And this is how you will track your results and your conversions. And when you click here, <clears throat> so next time, when you click on total clicks, it will tell you how many people went to each specific variation that you had. And um, it will tell you how many engagements or how many clicks you had from each page. So if your variation one has 50 clicks, your variation two and three and four have zero clicks, that tells you something, doesn't it? That tells you you should probably focus more on your variation one and put that as your winner and then maybe try different testing methods. Maybe two, three, and four are just completely horrible. You get the idea, right? So uh, that's about it. If you guys have questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. Uh, please subscribe and stay tuned for the next videos where I'll tell you how to get, um, how to find the exact traffic source for your click magic. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next videos.